Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop. I uh, want to take just a few minutes for this moment of peace to kind of connect with, with you regular, regular viewers, uh, these moments of peace, because they don't focus in on, generally on a very specific uh, topic that lends itself to uh, a YouTube algorithm, search engine opt optimization. It, it generally just reaches you regular viewers and not, not newcomers uh, or new viewers, and that's okay. I want to talk a little bit about YouTube today. Uh, YouTube is a social media, uh, like like many others, and watching a video where you can see somebody teach you something, uh, possibly, is just part of the learning process, but to really go deeper, it helps if you take a moment to look at the other videos, because, for, I mean, the other comments, because it's, it's uh, I know, especially in my case, some of you viewers will have more uh, valuable experience and knowledge than I do on a particular topic and I just really treasure it when y'all share that with with me and the other viewers and here's just an example of of one on a video I did some some years back on using a two-part wood bleach uh, DIY solution that uses uh, lye and and here's what happens I want you to see this thing is bubbling up while I was talking and I thought this was kind of interesting. So this shows you what you need to be concerned with. So Handel De Beer comments that you need to dissolve the lye very well into the water initially. And if you don't, it forms crystals at the bottom which could cause, have caused the reaction. As a soap maker, I cringed a bit when you were swirling the lye around like that in the beginning, laughing out loud. Best is to start stirring the moment you add the lye to the water and keep stirring it for a few minutes. So I appreciate that, that comment very much. YouTube has developed very uh, sophisticated algorithms that serve up the content that uh, customize to your prior, to your prior uh, viewing experience. And it helps sometimes if you subscribe, it will send you notifications frequently on on new content from that that channel you subscribe to however for that to happen you have to click the notification bell as shown here and even then YouTube's not going to uh, bombard you with every single new video that comes out on a channel you subscribe to because they they realize that through through their research that that viewers would tend to turn off the subscription or or turn off the notifications because they did they would just get bombarded with too much information. So they will tend to only send you a notification when you have subscribed, you have clicked on the notification bell, and they feel like that, that notifying you is going to be something you are really likely to watch based on your prior experience. So it takes those three different things for that process to work. There's three ways, uh, typically there's three, three ways to do a search for a specific content on a YouTube channel. The f it, 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 it's shown in this picture here, the first one is to key in a, a term or keyword or a phrase in the actual URL box at the very, very top, of the internet search box, and Google, or if you use some other search engine, will serve you up uh, the results that they think you're, you're interested in. Here's an example, if you do a search for example, on or one I did using the incognito uh, window or or a hidden window, so to speak, and I'd put in the search term "turn a baby rattle." I wound up coming at the at the at the top of the the list uh, with with video. However, if when I search the topic that I just put in thread chasing, you'll see that my my good friend. Uh, Sam Angelo comes up because he's got far more content, better content than I do on, on thread chasing. So you're going to get different results and sometimes you're going to get unpredictable results. If you're interested in specifically on YouTube, then you want to drop down to this other search box so it'll just, for, uh, just focus in on YouTube and not every other document or, or ads and, and other information based on just a Google search. If you want to search for information just on my channel, you want to do a search here uh, from my home channel. One, vi one recent viewer uh, commented on a video that, uh, that I had. It was several years old on doing a, a winged crotched, about five years ago I think, uh, a winged crotch 
bowl and he said I ought to redo that video because he's sure that I've got some new newer content or I've learned something since then but what what is clear he probably wasn't aware that he could have searched on something for example on my channel for example a playlist on turning bowls and he would have he would have discovered that I had probably three, at least three different newer videos on that same topic. So that's another way to do a search is, is go to my home channel or someone else's home channel, click on playlist and see how they've organized. Every time I do a video, I put it in one or more playlists appropriate to that particular topic. So when you click on that playlist, the most po it, they're sorted by most popular video or sorted by popularity. So when you click on it, the first video will play and it will queue up all the others over on the right. You can actually see what the other viewer, the other videos that are going to pop up in that particular uh, playlist. And then you can kind of jump ahead and look at those others and say, oh, that's more in line with what I want to look at. You can click on one of those. So that, that's another, another way to search for content. Let me make another, another comment about another social media, Facebook. Uh, I know a number of y'all uh, from time to time uh, request to, uh, su will submit a friend request and unfortunately, you know, I, I delete those. I try to keep my Facebook page down to immediate, very close friends uh, and, and immediate uh, family members. Frankly, that's the only reason I get on that, my, my regular Facebook page, is to be able to see pictures of my granddaughters and, and keep up with them. So, I do have another uh, Facebook page Mike Peace Wood Turning, and you don't have to be a friend to post on that, or you don't submit a friend request. You just click click a like, and you'll get a, a, a feed from to, uh, to your Facebook page. Uh, sometimes, <laughs> not sure all the details on Facebook, but that's another way to, to connect with me uh, on on Facebook. I'm not real active on Facebook, but occasionally I do participate in a couple of Facebook uh, groups, primarily my wood turning. Uh, Club Chattahoochee Woodturners, but also a couple of other uh, woodturning groups such as Woodchuckers and and I forget the name of the other one. I'm still doing interactive remote meetings uh, with with clubs. Uh, it slowed down a little bit this year. I did a lot of them last year. And I've done quite a few this year. So if your club has some interest, feel free to have your program chair reach out to me because I, I do enjoy doing those those videos uh, those. Uh, Zoom Zoom presentations. I, I even had an opportunity to do one with a club in Great Britain and a club in, in a separate uh, interactive remote meeting with a club in North Georgia, both in the same day. The power of the internet. Uh, another thing I want to mention, I've applied to be a demonstrator at the AAW Symposium next summer at, at Chattanooga. I was able to demonstrate for the first time with the AEW Symposium when it was here in Atlanta, so I hope I have an opportunity to do that again. But regardless, I'll be there because Chattanooga is uh, less than three hours drive from here, and, and I have an opportunity to meet some of y'all who attend, so I'm looking forward to that. Back in the day when I was a young artillery officer, we had a, uh, the Army had a basic fundamental uh, practice that was called continuous improvement of position. You know, if the enemy's not shooting at you, you're continuing to improve your firing position. Uh, that also applies to, to my shop, and here's an example of where recently I did a video on uh, Im improvement on storing my collet chuck system, and then even recently I, I modified that one more time by adding these, these pegs to make it easier to hang something else uh, on the side, for example, a, a pair of scissors. I recently helped out the, the widow of one of our club members who, who had passed away from COVID earlier in this year to kind of help her sort out, out her shop. And it got me thinking a little bit about continuous improvement of position. And continuous improvement of position doesn't always mean adding more tools uh, for a wood turner. Sometimes it means sorting through and prioritizing and get rid of stuff that you no longer uh, need or use. And I recently, uh, that experience got me thinking about it. And so I, I posted and sold a planter, which I hadn't used a number of years. Uh, I bought a planter and a joiner for general woodworking uh, about a year before I retired and didn't get much use out of it when I, a year later when I got interested in wood turning other than making a few shop cabinets. So uh, I'm trying to sell off that, that jointer and to free up some more space because the one with the most toys is not the one that wins.
My club got back to meeting in, in person uh, in July for a club meeting and, and demonstration, but then with the pandemic getting far worse here in the North Georgia area as well as rest of, around the country, we had to go back to Zoom presentations for for August and and also for September and gosh don't don't know when it's going to change. I've gotten back to doing hands-on wood turning workshops for our, our club with the requirement that folks get vaccinated but uh, with one coming up uh, one of the one of the uh, facilitators a doctor who's also a pulmonologist said that in his, we all have opinions, but in his professional opinion, he believes that if you don't have antibodies as a result of a vaccine or previously catching uh, COVID, it's not a question of are you going to catch uh, the new variants. It's it's a question of when. So, y'all stay safe and come on back here.